Hey, welcome back to the big show. Da Vinci and Michelangelo, Titans side by side, making its world premiere at the Glitter Dome Event Center in the Rhino Arts District. It interacts with Da Vinci's machines. There's a live theater production comparing the artist's works on stage. And this gent right here uh, is Mark Rogers, the mastermind behind it all. Good to see you, sir. Bonjour, no, bonjour. Bonjour, no. bonjour. How are you doing? Now, I. I we have some video to show because I'm trying to wrap my brain around how cool this show is. Yes. Uh, is this an art installation? Is this an inventor's forum? Is this a play? What is it? It is all of the above. Most people know Da Vinci and Michelangelo right. by the. I mean, most of, let's talk about Da Vinci for just a minute. They know him by the Mona Lisa, The Last Supper. Right. But few people know he was one of the most prolific inventors of all time. Right. He had over 44,000 drawings, of which only 14,000 survived. Everything that he invented. Everything. Right. Everything. The applications of his designs go on and on and on and on and on. Right, right, right. And so at this little show, are we going to like be able to see his inventions? Yes. Does he come out on stage and, and act for us? What <laughs> well, what happens is when you, you first arrive at the event, mm -hmm. we, have, we have about 30 of his machines set up. Cool. They were all reproduced from his drawing. None of the division's machines survived until today. Got it. Because they were all made out of wood. So these are from his blueprints. Oh, blueprints! Super Absolutely cool. Right. Super cool. And uh, the blueprints, and they, and the neat part about it is, you can interact. You can see, actually, see his inventions come alive. That's super cool. But the thing about it is, not only do you get to see him and you get to read about him, but the backstory behind these two gents right. is unbelievable. Did they know each other? Were they alive at the same time? Oh, they were alive at the same time. They were 20 years apart. They couldn't stand each other. They couldn't stand to be in the same room each are other. Are you kidding me? Absolutely, they hated each other. Wait, Michelangelo and Da Vinci. We're like Joan Collins and Linda <laughs> Evans on Dynasty. Yeah, absolutely, they were. They couldn't get along. Absolutely, they could not get along. And we see that relationship in the production as well. Absolutely, we talk about how they were brought up. You know, and people think that you know, you know, if you don't know much about David Michelangelo, they, they look at it like this, 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 this huge monolith in the sky. Right. And then they had people that loved them. They had people that hated them. Right. They had people that uh, that, that that criticized them, and they had to use their own ideas and their own uh, their own artistic uh, uh, dynamics to overcome. Uh, their own particular situations. You know what? Just like we do today. I cannot wait to learn more about this. So it's discoverdavinci.com to get tickets, more information. It runs through Absolutely. the new year? Through the new year. That's right. We have selected dates. We have afternoon dates. We have the evening dates. We uh, so, so, try to select one uh, that, 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 that fits with, the, with you. The neatest part is we're over the Rhino Arts District. And Great everybody, space. everybody has been looking for an excuse to get over to the Rhino Arts District. This is it, my friend. This friends. is in. We this brought Da Vinci Michelangelo to the Rhino Arts District. All right, we're out of time. Which one was your favorite? Just tell me which one do you like better? Well, you know, I got to tell you, Da Vinci. Da Vinci's the man. Absolutely. He had he had so many. He had, his applications were so right. widespread. Okay, like the crank. To I got to go to break. We're coming right back after the break. Okay, after we're going to explain. What, you're not going to believe the applications of what this design did. See it in the show. What's well, a crank, right? Uh, well, it's much more than that. All right. It's a, he called it the worm screw, but I will talk about it right after the break. I like a good worm screw. That's true. <laughs>